He's a busy man. When Rup Chanderdat isn't doing interviews, he's overseeing his baseball camp and, of course, devising a plan for the playoffs. We've talked about it all year in, in going on a long run and winning, winning a championship. For the majors, the postseason starts Wednesday at Labatt Park. Up first, the Ottawa Fat Cats, a sixth place team that's played London well, winning three of five games this summer, one here and both in the capital. We're going to be facing Ottawa. We're not looking at that, that as a negative. The only thing we were concerned with the Ottawa was the distance. Guaranteed this time we're going to go down there with something to prove. It's a long bus ride, but I know we're prepared and ready to go. The majors believe home field will certainly be an advantage. Of course, the fans out in numbers supporting the team and their regular season record supports the claim. London 14 and 3 in these confines. At Labatt Park, we know we can, you know, we can hit it out here. That's a great place to be, a great environment. But on the road, just eight wins against 10 losses, leaving much to be desired and cause for concern. After two in London, they're scheduled to play three straight at Ottawa, a cavernous facility where the series could be won or lost. It's a big park and the ball doesn't carry well in Ottawa. So we, you know, rather than being a big bashing team, we'll have to be a team that hits the gaps and, and try to create some runs. We're a team that can play small ball and also play for the long ball. So I believe we're able to adjust. And adjust they must. Had only Burlington edged Toronto, London would have taken second place outright, setting up a date with the nearby and mediocre Twins. But it wasn't meant to be. I do think it's our time. What still may be, finally, a championship in London. A top four hitting club with the IBL's second best staff. There's legitimate hope that this team has in it what 2008's did not. That one extra win. I mean, life is, and baseball, sports, is drawing from experience.